Hello everyone and uh, let's do our next tutorial which is about the advantages of MediaWiki as a content management system. Now obviously if you want to use Semantic MediaWiki what you need to decide is MediaWiki the right content management system for you. It has a large number of advantages and we'll go over those and it has a number of disadvantages and what you need to do is you need to be aware of those advantages and disadvantages to decide if it is the right content management system for you because only then if you decide that we be able to use semantic media wiki so media wiki is open source it's uh it's the engine that wikipedia sits on and if you really want to understand about wikis i don't think there's a better page than the actual wikipedia description of a wiki uh, which also shows you how a number of contributors can all create a page and actually the information that comes across there, I, I think you'll agree, is, is very well put and, and, and very concise in terms of what it's trying to explain. Again, it's open source, so free to use. Um, that's not a disadvantage. There is a large community supporting it. If you follow the media wiki updates, they're constantly being updated, it's constantly being improved, and there are plenty of resources out there. Every time I've got a question, I Google it, and there is normally the answer to be found. So lots of resources, lots of information, and lots of help out there. Let's talk about uh, using a wiki, though, as a content management system. To understand if a wiki is the right content management system for you, you need to consider how a wiki works. And really, if I could sum it up, it's open. Um, and I've put these bullet points down on the side and you can clearly see what I'm trying to demonstrate is that it is encouraging collaborative open working. Um, so anyone can edit, but you can limit that to people who've got an account only. You can't, You most people, most organizations won't have anonymous editing. When the information's edited, it's instantly published. It allows people to collaboratively work in, in even if they're geographically separated. It allows you to track changes, which I'll demonstrate in a bit. It also has these sort of uh, these other benefits in terms of it allows communities to be built because people suddenly realise they have a common interest. Knowledge bases start to, start to form as people start collecting their information which is vitally important for organizations at the moment and also it's this agile development it's throwing things out there seeing how they're seeing how they're reviewed and then changing them accordingly so this is constantly constant evolutionary process now of course wikis have a number of disadvantages the one being we just talked about anyone can edit now you can limit it to the people who you just assign accounts to but it can happen that people who have account who have accounts they're editing the wrong things and and that can get quite frustrating as 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 a wiki administrator if you try and tell people please only edit these areas unfortunately humans are humans and that's something but it's that's a management thing it is open to spam and vandalism to be honest though in your organization if you've got people spamming and vandalizing i think you've got far greater issues than that um it does require a connection so you can't do it offline uh, if 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 you have a free for all, the information can very quickly get disorganised. So that's the that's the really the job of the uh, media wiki of, of the wiki administrator to try and make a sense and make organise all the information that you have. And it can't be denied that the editing is not as simple as Word. It's not as simple as a, a normal text editor. There is media markup language, and you have to get over that 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 slight challenge of getting people up to speed with knowing how to edit in a wiki the other big thing is um, it's not wise to use it to separate uh, information if you're absolutely determined that certain users shouldn't be able to access certain parts of the wiki there are a number of extensions out there but the wiki was designed to be open much like the internet and it retrospectively it becomes very difficult to try and separate users from certain parts of the information there are ways probably the best way is actually building two wikis and having them in different networks and then using the letting the firewalls and those and those other security methods stopping people going to that information but i definitely wouldn't recommend having information all in one wiki if you really want to keep some some information separate from the other now these are just i've quickly rattled through the advantages and disadvantages everybody has an opinion on it 
what I'm saying is go out there, research it, understand if this is the right content management system for you. But we need to make you aware of the advantages and disadvantages so you don't go down this road of semantic media wiki when it turns out to be the wrong This was a really quick canter through the advantages of media wiki as a content management system. What we're going to move on now is practical examples showing you how media wiki enables you to monitor the editing of the content organize the information and also understand the relationship between the information that you have within your wiki thank you very much for watching